Hi there! Thank you for watching this video. Welcome to my channel. This is uh, Team Laika and if you're not yet part of Team Laika, you can go to www.facebook.com slash Team Laika, just like that page, so you'd find out as soon as my updates or my questions or anything like that. Uh, I usually post uh, practice questions during lunch break because I know a lot of you are working, so you can also watch out for those. Uh, I post them every day uh, leading up to the civil service exam. So it's going to be just a few weeks na lang before the October exam and I hope that you're preparing well. Uh, if you have a copy of the workbook, you can follow along. So again, this is a workbook. If you don't have a copy yet, you can contact me through my Facebook page so you know kung paano nyo siya makukuha. Um, I'm making all these videos because I want to try to help you out. Even if you don't have one, that's okay. Uh, it's just good if you have one para meron kayong aid and para rin makapag-practice kayo because there are a bunch of exercises inside. Okay, so uh, this is part two of the mixture problem set. Um, I am going to explain another component of mixture problems. This time we're going to talk about tano kung pure salt, pure vinegar, or water ang ihalo. Okay, and in order for me to explain that better, I'm going to switch over to my PC so you'd see how to do it. So, see you in a bit. Okay, so this is part two of mixture problems. Uh, this time, we're going to talk about yung mga special cases. So, for example, itong question na to, it says, A 15-liter solution that was 45% vinegar was mixed with 10 liters of pure water. Find the new concentration of vinegar. Ngayon, ang gusto ko lang maintindihan yung na concept dito is um, yung concept ng pure vinegar. So, if you uh, are taking down notes, you can encircle that. Uh, you can underline it. Basically, mark it. Pag sinabing pure vinegar, ang kailangan nyo tandaan is that pure vinegar means 100%. Di ba pag sinabing pure, ibig sabihin walang kahalo. Pure na vinegar siya. P vinegar lang ang laman. Okay? And that would change yung ating equation. Kasi if you look at it, uh, as uh, yung sinabi ko sa part 1 ng video, uh, ipapasak mo lang yung percentage, right? So this one would be 45, sa 15 liters siya. Iahalo mo daw sa 10 liters ng pure vinegar. Again, pag sinabing pure, ibig sabihin 100%. Percent. So, this would be 100 is equal to x. Tapos, again, i-add lang natin itong dalawang to. So, that would be 25. And then, we can solve it down. So, 45 times 15 plus uh, 10 times 100 or 100 times 10 is equal to 25x. So, 45 times 15 is uh, 675 plus uh, 1,000 is equal to 25x. Idalagdag, i-add lang natin yan. So, 1675 is equal to 25x over 25. So, we have 1675 divided by 25, which is going to be 67%. Okay? So, again, ang concept is that pag, one, pag pure vinegar, pure salt, pure anything na ihahalo, pure sand or anything like that, ang ilalagay nyo dito sa loob ng bucket is 100. Okay? Ngayon, paano naman kung pure water? Like this. Okay? Sabi ng question, a 12 liter solution that was 85% vinegar was mixed with 8 liters of pure water. Find the new concentration of vinegar. So, same thing, ilalagay mo lang yung concentration sa loob. So, we have 85% daw na 12 liters 85% of vinegar and 12 liters. You have 8 liters ng pure water. Again, when it comes to this, again, water. Pag pure water naman na pinag-uusapan, if you think about it, gano karaming vinegar ang meron sa tubig? Okay? Now, if you buy your water or uminom kayo ng water, of course, you'd know na kung may halong suka yung water na yun, hindi na siya pure, right? Hindi mo na iinumin yun kasi may suka na yun. Or hindi na mo iinumin kasi may alcohol na yun kasi minsan alcohol yung pinag-uusapan, right? So, pag pure water, ibig sabihin 0% vinegar siya or 0% alcohol or whatever that is. So, that would be mean na 0 din yung lalagay mo sa loob. Okay? Tapos, again, kukumpletuhin lang natin yung picture. X yung hinahanap. And this, 12 plus 8, which is... 20. So, ibababa lang natin ulit siya. Imumultiply natin lahat. So, we have 85 times 12 plus 0 times 8. Okay? It's equal to 20x. Now, 85 times 12, what you could do would be 85 times 10, tapos dalawang 85. That would equal 10, 20 plus 0. Kasi any number multiplied by 0 would be 0. Would be zero is equal to 20x. So, we have 10, 20 is equal to 20x all over 20 para ma-cancel to. 
So 1020 divided by 20 is just 51%. Okay? There. So I hope uh, you learned something from that. Again, that is how you tackle yung mga pure vinegar, pure alcohol, or water pagdating sa mga itong problems. Same picture that you have to memorize. The same thing that I had discussed on the first video. You just have to be comfortable with what percentages ang ilalagay ninyo sa loob ng buckets. Alright? Alright, so I hope you learned something new today. Again, if you have a copy of the workbook, please answer the exercises below para makapapractice kayo well. And if not, that's okay. You can always practice um, on your own. Uh, I also have a bunch of other materials on my uh, website, www.teamlika.com. You can download web, uh, worksheets off of that page. Uh, and um, God bless you sa preparations niyo. If you're not yet subscribed to this channel, please, please subscribe. That way, you'd know as soon as a new video posts. I'm trying to make as many videos as I could bago mag civil service exam on uh, October 23. And I'm going to make even more even after that. So please subscribe to this channel para malaman niyo soon as that post. Now, uh, there's also a link here to all of the other videos already posted. You can click there to catch up kasi malapit na exam and marami akong mga bagay na discuss na. I'd love for you to learn my techniques on all of those things habang may time pa. Okay, so uh, if I'm going to see you in Baguio or Davao, please give me a heads up. I'd love to meet you and maybe exchange a few stories with you there. So see you around guys. God bless you. Aja aja kaya niyan and happy learning. Bye bye.